questions first, and then uh, we can play that video and wrap it up. All righty. Uh, you got so, it. Real quick, who was your biblical authorities growing up? My biblical authorities growing up. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. A, a biblical authority. So, what church? What church did you go to church growing up? How about that? Con, con. What church? I, um, Bethlehem Temple, Pentecostal. Mm -hmm. What did they teach you about the Old Testament and New Testament, if you can remember? Only thing we knew about the old, well, I was taught about the Old Testament was Moses and the Exodus. Um, the New Testament, uh, the three wise men, but there was no such thing as three wise men. <laughs> it was just wise men. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, once again, another misconception, something right. he was lied about, yep. you know, uh, which stories were correct and which were wrong. Shit. All of them was wrong on what they told us. Cause they never went in the scriptures. <laughs> they never <laughs> went the scriptures. You know, Close the door. we had books. We had those color picture books in Sunday school. <laughs> And when you look at those books, you read the scriptures, none of that, none of that added up. I'm going to answer these questions as well. So who was your, what church did I go to growing up? I, I, I grew up Catholic. Mm -hmm. And then when I got older, like teenage years, it was Baptist. And then when I got older, it was Christian. So uh -huh. I went through three different denominations. Okay. What did they teach you? What did they teach me about the Old Testament and New Testament? Not a goddamn thing. The Roman Catholic Church should sound like a damn a cemetery, like a, you know, the organs. They was playing the organs, yeah. and it was like, ah, oh, man, it sound like fucking zombies. Yeah. Uh, That's how they, it sounded like they was chanting some ancient Egyptian shit. Uh, the Baptist Church, it was a whole bunch of singing, and the Christian Church, it was a whole bunch of singing. No scriptures. No scriptures, kind. Um, what did they teach you about the Old Testament, the New Testament? Nothing. All right, which stories was correct and wrong? Um, all the stories was wrong. They try to with which the the Christian church, what they try to do is they'll um use a story from the Bible and try to equate it to real life. Like yep. uh uh I'll give you an example. Uh Paul was shipwrecked, right? So they'll be like, I got an example too. <laughs> see, Paul, Paul was shipwrecked, right? See, see, Paul boat crash. So yeah. you see how Paul boat was broken up? That's related to your life. Yeah. So Paul's life was a shipwreck. Your life is a shipwreck. So you see how Paul got through the shipwreck. So that means you can get through the shipwreck. Do you hear me, brothers? Amen. <laughs> Can you feel what I'm saying, brothers and sisters? We have oh, Paul got through the shipwreck. So that means you can get through the shipwreck. If you just ship the wreck in the wreck in the shipping, and you can get through it too. Yep. Amen. That's that bullshit. <laughs> that, that, bullshit. that bullshit. That, yeah, that I, bullshit. Yeah, I can hey real quick. Uh uh a pastor did the same thing, but they used the walls of Jericho. He said, uh, -huh. uh if you got debt and you owe and you behind on your bills. The Lord going, just like he did the walls of Jericho, how the walls of Jericho found, he going to push your debt into the ground. The Lord going to push your, all your problems and your bills to the ground. <laughs> Still remember that shit, man. Yeah, man, I hated that. You know, I had I had a transition um, earlier on. It was Christianity, you know, Pentecost. And then um, later on, as a teenager, I was in Islam, you know. So I was actually going to the mosques and – in Chicago, um, the Farrakhan shit, actually, I didn't met Farrakhan and Kanye West, funny, but he was there and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So it was a transition from Pentecost to Islam. 
And then when I got older, 17, through the Spirit of Shemel Shai, you know, um, me and the brother I now who's in the camp, we went and compared all the Bibles. We had the Christian Bibles, the Book of Morons, the Catholic Bible, we had them all. And then we had the um, Quran. And we was battling for months what book was right between the Bible and the Quran. And I was a Muslim at this time, you know, and right. um, I was a kid at this time. I was 17. So my uncle came. I was living with my uncle and he came in the room. Spirit of the Lord was on him. I understand now he looking because we were, it was down between the Bible and the in the, the Quran. And he came mm -hmm. about nowhere and came in my room and grabbed the Quran and threw it out the house. He said, this ain't going to be in my house. Mm -hmm. And I, I was trying to figure out between the Bible and the Quran <laughs> and the spirit jumped on him and he threw the Quran out the crib, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, and then a couple of months later, that's when I found out about the truth. So the Lord, he busted down for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, the be in my house. We shall serve the Lord. It's right. And hey, this nigga didn't even go to church. He <laughs> <laughs> but the Lord busted down, bro. He didn't go yeah. to church, bro. <laughs> Put yeah, the spirit bro. on him. Put the spirit on him, bro. So, hey, I had to find out, okay, the Bible, you know. but um, And that just goes to show you, you know, to the listeners, you know, we 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 walked your walk, you know. We, we sat where you were sat. You yeah. know, we was at where you was at. We came up how you came up. Everybody yeah. got a different testimony and a different story, but we're Israelites, so we got the same story, man. Yep. Whether you grew up in the ghettos or you grew up in the suburbs, you dealt with these curses some way, shape, form, or fashion. That's right. And that's a curse. To go to those churches, that's a curse, bro. Curse. You know? To grow up in the mosque, that's a curse. To grow up to any of these churches, that's a curse. Yep. You know? To not go to church, that's a curse. Yes. <laughs> you know? In a say, you know, in a sense, you know, because you're not having no way, shape, form of the heavenly father, even though the heavenly father's not in the churches, but they still say something about God. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Certain things but, um, back then you kind of still hear, you know, apply it, not apply all the bullshit, but you know, certain things that yeah, was, it still was yeah. God, something, yeah, yeah, something, yeah, yeah, whatever little bit it was. Yeah, whatever a little, a little bit of was. God, God is going to tell you something. I still, you know, I like that song. God, God is going to tell you something from the color <laughs> purple. God. Oh, happy day. Oh, hey. happy day. <laughs> Listen to that, man. But yeah, bro. But hey, man, you know, hey, the water, how about your mouth shy for this truth? The water, yeah, how will forgiving us your how was shy? Because without yes. him, we, we, would, we wouldn't be here. For that, we'll through that lost. sacrifice, we'd be lost. If anyone yeah. was lost, we are it. <laughs> With JJ we are it. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, hey, we getting it back to the spirit. How about Shemal Shab again, our apostles and elders, man? Um, some real shit, some real man shit. We getting it all back through great men. Yeah. We getting it all yeah. back to the spirit. How about Shemal Shai? You know, mm -hmm. and um, what well, like the title of the lesson, man? We got to relearn. What we have been, what we have learned in in Babylon, man, in America, and this is the step to it. This is the beginning stages of it, and we're gonna get it all back in the kingdom of heaven. But that's what that's we fight. Right. That's what that's what the fight is about. But um, you got it, bro. Anything else? Right. I'm gonna go ahead and play that. Um, a couple of more. What was missing from the church? Shit, life. <laughs> <laughs> life was missing. It was. You didn't know nothing, you know? Hey, you know, every time the pastor got up, literally, me and my brothers, we fell asleep. We woke mm -hmm. up in the closing. We, we we woke up during the come to prayer, call to prayer. We right. fell asleep when he stood up. And when we, we awake up, when his ass was ended. Right. So I don't, I don't know nothing else, remembering nothing else that the nigga used to say. Right. <laughs> That's a fact. Sleep, bro. I used to hate standing, sitting, standing, sitting. I used to hate that. Part. I'm like, what the hell, man? Yeah. All rise, all sit, all rise, all sit. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> it says, um, what do you, where do you start now after learning your identity? Where do you start now? First and foremost, you start by your teachers because that's the example. 
You know, your teachers is your first example on how do we start this. They they have they got it before us. They right. know the routes. They know the routes. You know, they know where the hurdles is at. They know the the back doors. So what do we start? We start from the examples of our apostles and our elders and move on from there. And then you develop your lot. You develop your, you know, your energy, your spirit, and you pass that on as an example. Mm -hmm. The scriptures say, um, where do you, the question was, where do you start? The scriptures say, you know, mark ye the perfect man, you That's know, right. starting with, our Lord and Savior, who the world calls ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, which is real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. He's our greatest example of how to deal, how to deal with confrontation, how to deal with demons, how to mm -hmm. deal with brothers. He's our main example. And then, like the brother says, um, the examples that we have on earth today is our teachers, our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and the elder brothers in the faith and the head of the regents and the heads of the church and the older brothers in the faith and the list goes on. You know, the, the men that we, the examples that we have on earth today is um the prophets, man, the men of the Lord, Lord's will, you know? That's right. Next, next question. Oh, last question. What does born again actually mean? Born again, well, we just went over it. Born again is the renewing of your mind, um, destroying, how can I say it? Yeah, destroying all of the old ways of, uh, of thinking and being reborn into the scriptures, being reborn into your culture, your nationality, um, learning of your uh, your laws, you know. First, what's well, like you first and foremost learning the names of the father and the son. That's the beginning stages of being mm -hmm. reborn, you know. And then it goes on to what we just went into the teachings, what the old ways that was wrong, the the old ways of those mighty men, the fruit of lies, and now we're replacing it with the scriptures, you know. You hear me? You good? Yep, yep. Con, con. Okay. Repentance. Um, the Repentance. The beginning stages of being reborn. Go ahead. It's a lot. Now you good anymore? Yep, that's it. That's it. Any more meat on that bone? <laughs> <laughs> what does it what does born again actually mean? Like the brother said, you know, repentance. Um Come on now. Um, knowing the true name of Heavenly Father. You can hear me? Yep, yep. You we good? Yep, yep. We there. We come on, come on, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Give us some time. Abu Kasha. Abu Kasha. It says, um, the question was, what does born again actually mean? Like, I'm gonna reinstate what the brother said: repentance and knowing the true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son, and um. The scriptures say, um, Ecclesiasticus 1 and 14, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, mm. and it was created with the faithful in the womb. So that is a part of being born again, is the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord opens up the doors of understanding the ways of the Lord. It, it teaches you wisdom and wisdom teaches you the ways of the scriptures it all is like synonymous it goes hand in hand you know once you deal with one thing in regards to the scriptures you gotta it connects you to the other things in the scriptures and you gotta deal with the whole role you gotta deal with the good parts of the scriptures the bad parts of the scriptures and the ugly parts of the scriptures according to this world right. you know so being born again is renewing yourself in mind, body, and spirit for the Lord. Yahweh Shah said um, the two greatest commandments is love the Lord with your mind, body, and spirit and love your neighbor as you love yourself because on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Right. So how you serve the Most High and how you treat your fellow brother 
is like man, woman, and child, that's how you know you be born again. That's right. And you got it from there. You can play the video. How kind. Big screen. If I can get to it. Okay, here we go. Play, play these jewels, man. We'll never get it out now. So certain are you. Always with you, what cannot be done. Do you nothing that I say? Master, moving stones around is one thing. This is totally different. No, no different. Only different in your mind. You must unlearn what you have learned. All right, I'll give it a try. No, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. What you have learned, you must unlearn what you have learned. You must unlearn what you have learned. All right, I'll give it a try. No, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. There is no try. There is no try, mm -hmm. man. The Bible says, let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. It's either you can do it or you can't do it. And through the right. spirit and power of our power, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shah, we're going to do, man. We're going right. to believe upon our power. We're going to serve our power. We're going to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And we're going to push this word until Yahweh Shah come back, man. That's right. Until the other cities be wasted. To the other cities be with we're gonna push until Shiloh comes. That's Shiloh right. meaning peace. That's right. Who's the Ahawa Shai? Mm -hmm. That's right. So with that, hey Lord willing that you brothers and sisters have learned something, you know. And uh we'd like to give all glory and honor and praises to Yahweh. Yahweh. The Manasa Apostle Great Millstone and salutations to the Akim who's pushing on the four corners of the earth. All right, the spirit probably Abashimal Shai with all faith, love, diligence, respect, fear, and trembling. Shalom, Ababa Ba. Shalom, Kwam Yasha Allah. Kwam Yasha Allah.